Oh gosh! Nice! That's a better one. Oh yeah! Boom, 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 boom. He's on it. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you guys have been enjoying the content. Hit the like button, it really helps out the videos and I appreciate everybody who does that. If you guys wanna check out your boy's merch, kickingtheirbass.com, link will be down below. Today we're gonna to be doing some pond hopping. We're gonna stop off at this first pond, which is actually like a swamp. It's more of a swamp than a pond. It's got this natural water flow that pours into it from the swamp in the woods. And there's a lot of big fish in there. I've actually caught two seven pounders over the last few years in that pond. So I know they're in there. We're gonna go hunt for them. And then after that, we're probably gonna pond hop, hit a bunch of different places. And hopefully we can get on some big fish today. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. Well, we're walking out to the first pond this morning. If you guys are wondering what I'm throwing, I got a chatterbait on my baitcaster combo. I got a fluke on my spinning combo and that's what we're rocking with. If you guys want to check out any of the Kickin' Their Bass TV X Lose combos, they're only available on my website at kickintheirbasstv.com. We got right hand bait casters and left hand and also the spinning combos. All these combos are seven foot medium heavy fast action, so they're very versatile. You can throw just about anything on them. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get out to the pond and see if we can get us some fish. All right, y'all, we're getting this video started off with the old chatter donk. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. See if we can get on some big fish today and see what happens, y'all. See what freaking happens. I'm hoping to catch some big old schlobber donkeys today. That is the plan, man. Fishing a couple, couple last couple weeks has been a little tough. I'm back in Georgia now. Florida was all right. It was all right. It wasn't nothing crazy. Did catch some biggins. Not any big and biggins, but did catch some biggins. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get some in one of these old Georgia ponds right here. This is that one that gets naturally fed by one of these swamps. And uh, there's some big ones in here, guys. I've caught two seven pounders here in the past. So let's see if we can get on a big one today. Ooh, had a boil on me right there. That's why I need that fluke to follow that up right there. Something big behind me. There he is. Nice. Not a big one, but a nice one. Freaking slam that chatterbait, guys. These fish are biting today, boys. Not a big one, but not a bad one. Look at the lipstick on that bass right there. Look at that. Pretty fish right there. Beautiful colors in this tannic water right here. Well, there we go. We just started, guys. Usually this place is not easy to catch them, this pond in particular. I sometimes come out here, I don't get one fish. Sometimes I come out here and I'll get three or four. There's only been one other time I've got over five out here. So to catch one that quick, <laughs> that's a good little sign, man. I had a boil before that. I don't know if that's the same fish or not, but we're gonna keep on going. That was a good bite, man. Seems like these fish are gonna be eating. Good looking bull right there. You just went under my bait. What's going on here, Chief? What's going on here, fishes? Fishies. Oh, baby. Guys, look at this stuff on top of the water. And I'll tell you, I got this fluke on now. I can almost reel that thing at the top and see if I can get one to blow up on like a top water, man. Just imagine, freaking slaunch daddy destroys it on top. I don't know if it's the water tent's warm enough for them to do that, but I can totally see one doing it. Uh, oh, I have one hit behind me, guys. He doesn't really know where it's at. Hope he can locate it. I'm, I'm gonna throw it back in there. Oh gosh. Dude, he's right under it. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
Wait. I'll just let it sink. Did he grab it? No. Two different hits. The second one, I kind of had a big boil. All right. We're going to get this on camera, guys. Let's get it. He's got to hit it again, right? If I had a frog, that would be ideal. Oh, oh. He's right under me. Please, look at that boil, guys. I want to say he's under me right now. Hopefully, he's going to follow it out to the edge. Oh, see, if that fish was smart, he would literally go to the edge of the grass right here. I'm going I'm to drop it in that little hole that he made. If I have another one bull on me, guys, I might. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, guys. That was a freaking tank. Okay. That was a freaking tank. Oh my god. Please, please. Oh, yes, he's gonna eat it. He just boiled so hard. How did he not eat it, guys? He just boiled on it. How did he not eat that? Even the second time I threw it in, he was there. He might have boiled, boiled away, but... Oh my gosh, what in the world, man? I can't believe that that fish didn't eat that. We're gonna keep trying this because that, that was crazy, man. That was crazy. Oh, that was a freaking tank. I cannot believe he just totally missed it and didn't eat it that second time. I want to see one go airborne on it. I know they'll hit it like a topwater now. I had them, guys. I freaking had them. They're just not getting a good eat on it. Oh, I think I stuck that one. I'm going to throw it back in there. I don't know. I might have hooked him. There's a lot of fish under here, though, so I think we could do this for a second. Boil big boil under me he might be looking right up at my bait yep yep eat it oh my god he just knocked it out of the water guys these fish don't know what to do oh 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 my god he's right under me that might be a mud fish this is exciting this is so exciting right here this is the type of fish i want to be doing What? Like, how do you? Nice. Yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> Guys, that was so freaking cool. Look at that. That's a swamp donkey of a bass right there. Not a big one, but you can tell he's been living in that stuff right there. Oh, man. Yes, it took us a minute to get us one, guys, but we did. There's a lot more fish under this. I think we're going to keep on trying, but you can tell how dark that bass was being up in that grass and in this tannic water. Wow. Thank you, buddy. Gosh. Took us a second, man, but we finally got one. That is so cool. Holy cow. Look at that freaking bait. There's so much bait around that tree right there. So much bait. Gotta be a bass on the edge of that tree, right? Gotta get the spinning combo down. I haven't done a spinning combo in a second. This thing freaking beans. Let it sink on the edge of that tree. I'm not even gonna move it. Sometimes that's a great way of getting these fish to eat. Like throwing it out there, kind of letting it sit for a second, flutter down, and then starting to retrieve it. Especially when you're in the strike zone, like on the edge of that tree. Should be a fish sitting there, realistically. Little boy right there. Oh, he's got me. Here we go. Oh, God. Guys are in this corner. They're in this corner. Not big by any means. We're gonna get him back in the water. Thank you, buddy. Chunky guy. 
fish was not big at all, but let me tell you, right when I caught him, I wish I wouldn't have caught him because there was a huge boil right here. I think there's a lot of fish in this corner. I hope I didn't spook him. Right there. But that was a good freaking boil. Oh, oh my God. Guys are loaded in this corner. Jeez, that was a freaking boil. I'm over here talking about boils. That was a freaking boil and a half that I just had on me. There's a lot of fish right here. Oh, it's not the cast. Ooh. Another small one. Okay, we're getting somewhere, guys. They're not big, but we're catching them. And that's what matters. They're actually really fat for the size of them. I know there's some bigger ones in here though. I've caught, I've actually caught a few really good fish in here. I mean, they're fat, man. They're just a little tiny Twinkies. Let's get a nice little release on him. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. That is not the size that we're looking for, but we got to start somewhere, like I said. Got to always start somewhere. I cannot complain. I mean, the fishing has been tough this last month, so. To know that we haven't been fishing that long, I already caught a few. That's a good little sign. Should catch another one over there. They're loaded. I just hope they're not all that big. That corner in this lay down, I think it's going to be loaded. Right here. That corner should have a big one. I'm just upset about that fish. That fish was not small like that. That, that one actually had some shoulders on him for him to boil like that. That's a better one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're loaded on that tree. He's a little better than those last ones, but not much. He's got a little better belly on him. Fish felt so big for some reason when I first hooked him. He was just running with it. These fish are so small. I know there's bigger ones. Man. I don't understand. They're not big, but we're just freaking smoking them. That fish was really not even hooked. I mean, I'm not complaining. We're going to go find some bigger fish if they keep biting like this size, but we're, we'll go somewhere else. But heck, I'm not really complaining, man. These fish are freaking stacked over there. I know they're not big, but dude, it's fun catching them. Oh, ho, ho. Look at this fish running at me. <laughs> He's putting up a good fight. He ain't even big. Oh my gosh. All right, boys. Have the next spot. Let's see what we can do. We're still going to toss around this fluke. There should be some fish stacked right in the middle here in this ditch. Me and Adam fished out here recently, and we actually had some really good bites. He ended up losing like a four pounder right here, like standing in this exact spot. So maybe we'll get a few of those big ones to fire up right here. Fluke's actually a great bait to be thrown in here right now, too. I don't know if you guys see, there's a lot of slop. And it's pretty shallow water right here. And this fluke is one of those baits that you can work fast, you can work slow, you can let it just sit, and you can do just about anything with it. I'm just gonna put on a standard white one right here. The main reason is because that one's a little tore up. Another reason it was cloudy out, but now the sun's out. I like throwing the disco color in the sun, and I like throwing this color you can throw this color in the sun or when it's cloudy out, but the sun did just peek through the clouds. <laughs> so everything I'm saying doesn't really make sense, but we're going to try to this one. See what we can do. This wind is picking up, boys. All right, let's see if we can get one to eat this. I know they're out there. Honestly, it looks like there's freaking beds out there in the middle. Oh, yeah. All right, not a big and not a big one. <laughs> Ooh, he's fighting good though. Super clear water here. He's definitely the biggest one yet. Still not big, but he, yeah. He's a little bigger than those other ones. That was a cool bite though. So we got like these boulders out here, guys. It's a bunch of like rocks. I'm throwing that fluke and I'm popping it about three times over and this fish will come out of those rocks. You can't really see them, even though this water is really clear. 
but I know they're down in those rocks. They kind of get in those little tiny crevices. So we're gonna keep on casting across these. We might get lucky and get a big one. I will say today too, this wind is definitely helping out with these bites. It's not too much wind, it's just right for fishing, which I love for filming too. And it's too windy, I, I hate it because with the film, it's so dang loud, but you do need a little bit of wind to really get on a good bite sometimes. Ooh. Oh my gosh. See, that one came up like a top water eat, that thing. See, these fish are active today, man. It feels good to see some good weather pull up and these fish actually eat like that. Yep. Oh my goodness. That was a good boil, too. I don't understand what's going on here. Should get eaten right here. That was a good little boil. He was right, so so you ooh, that's a better one. Yep. Not a big one, but that's a better one. Let's go. He's skinny for what he is. The long fish though. I watched him come up and eat that. Look at that fluke in his mouth. We still haven't found any of these big ones, guys, but I'm just enjoying it, man. We're catching them. So kind of what we have here big sandbar out there you got a drop off that's about a 20 foot stretch before it comes back up so pretty much what you have is a shallow flat then it drops off and comes back up on a shallow flat those fish are hanging out right where that drop off is right when i started coming up onto this little shallow flat in front of me that's when that fish bit it so what that tells me those fish are hanging right off on that dip. I also think there's some fish hanging on that flat because there's a lot of boulders and stuff that they could be hanging in. Oh, that's a better one. Oh yeah, best fish today. Is it? He's fighting the best. <laughs> I'll give him that. Freaking ate it good too. God, these fish are loaded, guys. Look how he ate that. These fish are biting today. It's been a minute since I've seen the fish biting this good, guys. That's a good little sign here. I'm enjoying it. Look at that. That's a beautiful bass. Pretty markings on him. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's like almost every cast, guys. We we didn't have a bite on that other end. And now we came down here. I had a feeling that these fish might be in this corner and started catching them. I got a few. Just some small ones. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Oh. God, that fish was running. That's the best one yet, guys. Oh no, that fish was running, dude. He was, this is where they're at, guys. I could like keep making casts here. I just, I know there's some better ones here, man. Look at those teeth marks on that dang fluke. It's about time for another one. So, I think the trick is to throw it out there, let it sit for a second, obviously. You know, I talked about that at the first one, and then give it about two or three pops pop, 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 and then let it pause. Watch, I'm gonna do it. I threw it out there. I'm gonna let it sit for a second, let it simmer down. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now I'm gonna give it a pause. Just let that bait flutter. Sometimes you'll pick up on it and they'll have it. A couple more twitches. Oh, he just ate it. Look at that. Literally right there, guys. We just talking about it. That's exactly how they want it. This is a tiny guy. Tiny, tiny dude. That's how they want it. Damn. So if you guys are having a, a rough time catching some fish right now, especially if you guys are fishing some ponds and it's got a bunch of like nasty stuff in it, like this pond, switch yourself up to a fluke and try out what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna do it one more time. We're gonna throw out there. There's a lot of fish loaded in this area. We're gonna throw out there, let it sit. It's really shallow, so I don't let it sit too long. Pop that thing three times, give it that sporadic movement. Let it sit again. Boom, 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 boom. I'll let it sit. Boom, 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 boom. He's on it. Look at that, look at that boys. They're sitting right there in that drop off. And this is the difference between catching 10 fish and catching 30, is figuring out what those fish want. And once you figure out what those fish want, you kind of hunker down and you start catching them. If you guys have been watching some of the recent episodes, I had a, I had a video over a chatter donk and I figured out how they wanted it. And yeah, we're fishing a pond, but at the end of the day, 
a lot of these ponds they i mean they play out like a lake would you know yeah like just this one right here it's got these two little flats and it's got this drop off you know so these fish are going to act similar you just got to figure out how to catch them and you guys saw this retrieve right here we're getting bites every cast now we weren't getting bites a second ago now that i figured this out it's like boom 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 come on fishy i know you're out there I mean, dang, dude. <laughs> it's crazy you figure them out that good i mean they're not big they're tiny tiny but it is kind of cool seeing how you can change your retrieve and figure out where you're putting that bait and just see them bite yeah, that's the coolest thing all right this next pop they're gonna be we're gonna be right on I know right when I'm gonna get bit. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> like it, it's, oh my gosh. I don't even know how many are down there guys, but it's not like we're sitting deep at all either. Like these fish aren't deep. They're pretty dang shallow, but they can't, they can't resist this thing. I think what's happening is I'm popping that thing. They kind of get hunkered in on it and then I stop it. And so they're just kind of nose down on it. They're just looking at the bait and I give it this pop, pop, pop. And then that's when they eat it. It's pretty crazy. Oh, he had it. He got it. Look at that black tail on that bass. That's pretty crazy. Well, guys, I'm going to have to close out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We didn't catch many big ones. We didn't catch any big ones, matter of fact. We ended up catching just a lot of small ones today. But I still had a lot of fun, and we got on a killer bite. And then that top water bite at the beginning of the video was just so much fun. Like, oh my gosh, that was just so cool. But I appreciate everybody watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Kicking Their Bass TV.